Hey guys, it's Will Claus here from Davis Archant Realtors. And I was just going through my electric bills and uh, they're a lot higher than I thought. Um, so I decided to do this quick video because if you've ever searched for houses with me, you've probably heard me say that um, you need to shop your electric rates because the rate that PP&L gives you, which is uh, Pennsylvania Power and Light Company, uh, the, the rate that they give you when you first sign up is hot, much higher than what uh, you could get if you shop those rates. Um, so I always did shop those rates. However, you're only tied to a contract for a certain amount of months. And once that expires, they can bring you up to whatever rate that they normally charge. Um, so my contract expired with my old company and I'm paying a crazy high rate. So let me just kind of show you what I mean by that. This is an electric bill um, that I just had uh, as of January 20th and, or 22nd. And you can see here, if you see my mouse, $424, which may not sound like all that much to you, but it's really high for this house because uh, this house isn't very big at all. Uh, you can see, obviously, we use a lot more electric, so I want to go through. I may have a thermostat that's stuck on, stuck on an electric baseboard or something, um, so we definitely have to check out what's going on with this higher rate um, because it hasn't been that much colder. You can see they have average temperatures here. So in 2020, average temperature was 35. In 2021, average temperature was 32. So it wasn't like it was that much colder. Um, so something else must be going on now. Um, PPNL does talk about their rate to shop is 0 0.7. Uh, I'm sorry, it's at 7.3 cents per kilowatt hour. So if you've never shopped your rate before, you're probably paying this normal PPNL rate which is a, a pretty high rate to begin with, considering you could get it much lower. Um, but what happened to me is if I scroll all the way down here to, I think page three on mine. So if you look at this and it says generation and transmission charges, um, it'll say that I'm actually, I use 3,200 kilowatt hours at 8.6 cents per kilowatt hour. So 8.6 uh, 8 cents, 8.65 cents compared to what PPNL would be at, uh, sorry, let me go up to the top here, 0 0.73 cents or 7.3 cents is, uh, is a pretty big difference. It only sounds like one cent, um, but when you factor it that it's, you know, what, maybe 15% or so uh, of an increase, but even better, let me show you how you can shop these rates down. If you go to paPowerswitch.com, um, PAPowerSwitch.com, you can, oh, I'm on the wrong one. I clicked the wrong one. Don't do that. Go to the actual PAPowerSwitch.com. I think that this is the one that is uh, done by the uh, Public Utility Commission. So it's a it's the site you want to go to without getting sold on anybody in particular. If I type in my zip code here in Taftons, 18464, you can do it for any zip code in Pennsylvania. Um, and you go to see full results. Again, PPNL's uh, number to shop is... 7.3 cents per kilowatt hour. You could put in your monthly usage and stuff like that. But here's what I like to do. I like to find anything that has a fixed price. I don't like to have to worry about variable prices. And unlimited pricing I found has never really worked unless you're using a ton of electric um, just because they have high fees with it. I like to do no cancellation fee uh, um, and no monthly fee just to make it compare apples to apples, but we'll do no monthly fee there. But the no cancellation fee, if you get a good enough price, you're probably not going to want to cancel it anyway, unless rates dramatically drop. Um, term length, this is where I got into trouble. I may have had like a 12 month term that I was happy with and then forgot to check it again because I haven't checked it in a year. So let's just keep that at any. But if I go to sort by price, low to high, it starts to adjust these. Let me go back. Four, six, four. Okay, and then the numbers that we're getting, AP, Gas and Electric, which is actually the company I was using, this must have been a promotional rate, is 4.2 cents per kilowatt hour. So I'm paying 8.5, and I could be paying half that in my, in my transmission charge, or I'm sorry, my generation charge. That is one thing to look at here is uh, on this bill, again, PPNL rate, this middle page shows your distribution charges. That I don't think you can shop unless someone tells me otherwise. So you pay uh, 4.325 cents per kilowatt hour for your, uh, for your distribution, but you can shop the generation and transmission charges. And you'll see that number down here at the bottom. And yeah, so I'm using AP Gas and Electric. And then on this, AP Gas and Electric is only 4.2 cents. Where here they're charging me 
8.6 cents. Um, so yeah, more than double, I could say. So if I wanted to do that, or say I wanted to go with somebody else, maybe Town Square Energy, um, I see that it's a, a three month term length. So I got to put something in my calendar to make sure that in uh, March, April, May, but in, uh, in May or so that I come back and I shop these rates again. So I don't re-trigger to whatever their next high rate is. Um, there's no cancellation fee. So if I check in two weeks and I see a, that there's a, a lower rate with somebody else, I can do that. Um, it is a fixed uh, price structure. And then you can click here to learn more. So it'll say three monthly bill cycles. Sometimes they will say, you know, that the rate's only at, uh, at 4.25 cents, but you also have to pay $50 a month in a, a monthly fee or something. So make sure that there's no monthly fee. Um, and then it does say three month bill cycles at 4.2 cents per kilowatt hour, but it'll be automatically switched to 8.97 cents. So that's how they get you is uh, when you don't remember to shop the rate. So I'm going to try and remember to shop my rate. So I'm going to sign up for this offer and then uh, they'll take you to their website. I can sign up. You'll have to put in your meter number and things like that. Uh, so I have to create an account here. Um, and then I'll have to put in my meter number, my account number. I did black those out here. I don't know why, but I just figured for privacy sake, I would just put those off. But you could find your billing account number there. Um, and that's the top of your bill, also your meter number. So hopefully this was helpful. Sorry I took up so much time, but hopefully I saved you uh, a couple hundred bucks on your electric bill because four point or $424 when I'm used to paying much, much less than that is uh is a big deal um, thanks again guys if you have any questions please don't hesitate to reach out my contact information is listed somewhere in this if it's on youtube or facebook it'll be in the uh in the description or if you're getting this through email just check my email signature any real estate related questions i'm happy to help and we'll talk to you soon